Hello everyone, welcome to the e-bike and acoustic bicycle rider channel. Uh, the purpose of this short video is to show the new software that Hammerhead released for the K2 yesterday. It's got e-bike integration, which I think everyone who rides an e-bike is trying to find a device that will show uh, battery consumption, how much range they have left. I know, I know I was, I've been looking for that for a while. So it's great that they listened to a lot of the people who gave feedback um, in order to get this data on the unit itself. It's really easy to set up. Uh, it took me about less than 10 minutes to uh, create the data field and then actually hook it up to my specialized Creo. So I'm going to walk you through the actual setup really quickly. So you do have to download the software that they just released yesterday, which was um, Thursday the 23rd. Um, that newest version has all the e-bike um, connectivity. It will connect through the Ant Plus protocol and it will work with all the specialized product from what I can see. and anything any e-bike that connects um, your head unit via um, amp plus so to get started basically you would go to your sorry for my finger but um, you go to your your settings or your sensors well let's do let's do the profile first okay and you're going to go into specialized and you'll be able to set up your data pages through here and all your different um, preferences. Um, I have it set up as my default bike, which is the Specialized Creo. And then you can go to your data page. And you can see this is my old screen. This had my, the, the Specialized Creo has a built-in power meter. I think the new Trek Damani also has a built-in power meter. So I basically had the bike telling me what the power, speed, cadence, heart rate, average speed, distance, grade, uh, calorie power, heart rate zone, and ascent. Now you can edit the different layouts and you can pick different things that you want to be on that data field. All your high-end GPS head units such as Garmin, uh, Wahoo, um, Hammerhead all have these functions to customize um, the data. I will be doing a video um, in the next few days which compares the Hammerhead K2, the Garmin 1040 Edge, and the Wahoo Bolt. I have all three units and I've used all three units for my e-bikes. Um, just a disclaimer, I am not a sponsored rider for either one of these companies. All the items that I will test and talk about my experiences with on this channel are all items that I personally own and did my own research and felt that that was the right product for me um, to use in my everyday riding of e-bikes and regular bikes. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the different data screens. You can have pretty much any information you want on the screen. Hammerhead by far has the best and clearest and easiest to see navigation screen. I am 56 years old and I struggle just like everybody in that age range for close up um, clarity to be able to read. And you can really, um, you have big um, numbers and it's, it's really easy to read in my opinion. And same with the navigation. The navigation is also one of the most accurate on the, on the Hammerhead. So here's the fields that I set up for the um, e-bike. And there's a couple different ways you can set it up. You can set it up with, with a numeric value as you see here. So you see the, the, the normal power up on the top. I like to have speed, bike battery, estimated range, burn rate, how fast it'll burn depending on what mode you're in, the assist level, the motor power and total power so it's gonna give you the power for you and the motor combined, okay? You can also set these fields up on my next screen. Um, here, let me go one more. 
You could do it in a bar graph, which is color coded to the bike battery. Um, green is going to be over a certain percentage, yellow, and then obviously yellow will be as the battery decreases in capacity throughout the ride. And then when it's red, that will give you that you're currently running out. The bottom graph is your range versus route distance. So in order for that to work, you would have to be navigating to a location or, um, you know, using the computer to follow a route. And then that will tell you your range versus what, how much mileage you have left in your current ride. The assist level numbers are one for eco, three for uh, the medium, which is trail with specialized, and then turbo is five. I do wish they would have, would have labeled it one, two, three, but we'll, it's, you just have to get used to the new numbering system. Um, but these fields are very easy to set up. So basically when you click on the button, when you're in your edit layout, you go down to e-bike and you can see the different categories that you have to put in the graphs. The, now, one thing I noticed, if you use the numeric value like I had on the one screen, you don't have as many choices as you do with the graph. The graph gives you more comparison items that you can put in that graph. But from what I could find, and if you see something different, please uh, put it in the comments section. Um, you know, you can, there's just more, there's only two graphs you can put on one data screen. So if you wanted more graphs, you would have to create a, a, another screen to scroll through, which depending on your, how much data you want, um, you can have as many screens as you want with a K2. Um, so you have all these different categories. Now, when you go back, it would put it in there. If you go back to the other screen to show you the differences when you're on this screen and it's the numeric value as i was saying when you get down to e-bike your choices are a lot more limited to what you could put in that window when it's a numeric value so just know that when you're trying to decide if you want to go uh, numeric or if you want to go with the gauge the gauge is very nice though i do like that I wish you could put more than two gauges on the um, screen. And if somebody has figured out a way to do it, please let me know in the comments section. Um, to add to your bike, it's really, really, really easy. It took less than uh, three seconds to really connect it up. So basically the way you would do that is go back to your main screen, go to your sensors, turn your bike on, whether it be a specialized, anything with ant technology. And you hit the plus button and it will search for that and it immediately came up within seconds. And then you can customize the name like you can with any of the other sensors in your sensor uh, section of the K2, which is really nice. So you can label it so you know what, what they actually are. As you notice on here, I have the specialized Creo, I have my Wahoo heart rate, I got my radar, I got my rally power pedals. Um, the other nice thing about the K2 is you can program for the profile what you want that bike to find and, and it'll only find the sensors that are associated with that bike, which is really, really nice. Um, so see, so you can, you can pick what sensors that bike will pick up. So if you're around your other bikes, it's not gonna pick up any of the other sensors. Or if you use a specific heart rate belt for that bike, it will only pick up whatever you program for it. So with that, really, really um, excited to ride with this new um, software to see how it um, works. I've been waiting for this software for a while. Um, several of us in the Specialized Creo forum on Facebook um, have spoken to K2 and gave our feedback. I know I was on the phone with Hammerhead for about an hour, hour and a half, 
given feedback. I know there's a few other people that has ridden the Creos for a couple years now that also gave a lot of feedback that own these units. So thank you to the community. I think they did a great job with the software. And I think if you own an e-bike, you're gonna have a lot of data to really manage um, your usage of your battery. So with that, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe. I'm gonna put out a couple other videos showing the comparison of an e-bike versus a regular acoustic bike, riding the same courses, uh, power output, calorie expenditure. Um, so I'm excited to uh, get this channel going. Hopefully the videos will get better. I am new at this. So thank you for watching and please pass to somebody who's considering um, getting an e-bike. I think I can bring a lot of value and uh, my own information and my struggles with groups, etc. Thank you. Have a great night.